What's up everybody, Jason from Vasa Productions. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this looping arrow animation inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. Coming up. All right, so here we are inside the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve. We've got a B-roll clip right here. Let's left click and drag that into the timeline. I wanna shorten this a little bit by coming over here to about the six second mark and just hitting B on my keyboard to cut off the back end of the clip. The next thing that I need to do is right click on this and make this a new fusion clip. Come up here, left click on new fusion clip, come down to fusion here, and then let's get to work. So the first thing I need to do is take the media out, drag that over to the right, take the media in, which is our video clip right here, and just bring that over a little bit. I wanna use the new shape tools to create this arrow animation. So come up to tools, left click on that, come down to shape, left click on that, Come to Shape Render, bring that down. We're gonna come over here to Shape Rectangle, bring that over by left clicking and dragging that into the workspace. Take the output of the Shape Rectangle, left click and drag that into the Shape Render. Take the output of the Shape Render and left click and drag that into the Media 1. And then take this Shape Rectangle, bring it on top like this. And you can see we've got this white rectangle. The next thing I wanna do is add to the Shape Rectangle, bring this up a little bit and add a shape transform by left clicking right here, okay? Now I wanna take the shape transform and I wanna come over to the X and Y size and change those. Bring this Y size down to shorten the arrow length and the X size to shorten the arrow width. Now we wanna add some color to this. Come up to the shape rectangle, left click on that, come over to style, left click on white and left click on red here and hit okay. And then what I wanna do is add the tip of the arrow to this. So come over here to this S and Gone node, just drag this into the workspace by left clicking and dragging here. Take the S and Gone's output and drag that into the shape transform one, and that will create a merge. Now we have this hexagon here, come up to S and Gone, select this, come to sides and just drag this down to three, okay? Come to style, left click on white, and we're gonna select red and hit okay. Now you can see the tip of the arrow is pretty gigantic, so let's come over here, right to the S and gone, and let's bring this up, and let's hit shape transform again, and add a transform to it to change the size more easily. Come to the X size here, bring that in, and the Y size, and we can bring that in, and actually just bring that back a little bit, make it a little bit bigger than it is, and just bring this, and bring that right to the front of that line right there. So we're getting pretty close to done here already. Things are going really, really well. Take the merge and this transform and highlight all these nodes here and bring them up. So now to change the positioning of this arrow, just take a shape transform, bring that in, hold that right here, and then take that transform and that's gonna allow me to maneuver this whole arrow together just like this. I can also change the size of it like this all together right here. The last thing I really need to do is I just need to animate this. So I wanna have this come on the screen by let's just say frame 24. So come over here to frame 24 with shape transform selected. Come over here to the X offset and just left click this keyframe right here. Come to zero and just left click and drag the X offset off the screen. And then all I have to do is come over to shape render to add some motion blur by coming to settings and left clicking this motion blur here and come back to the shape transform and select it, come to spline, hit shape transform, left click there, left click fit to zoom, left click and drag over these keyframes, S to smooth, hold option to pull this keyframe handle all the way over to the beginning of this other one right here. And now we have this really smooth animation. If we hit spacebar, it comes on nice and smooth just like that with a little bit of motion blur on the arrow as it comes into the screen, you can see it right there. Now to loop this, it's really simple. Zoom to fit right there, right click on this, and I'm just gonna come up here to set loop and just left click on loop. And that's all I have to do. If I bring this back to zero and hit space bar to play, the arrow will now animate on the screen quickly and easily just like that over and over and over again. To give that arrow a little bit of depth, all I have to do is come past the shape render, left click here, hit shift and spacebar at the same time, type in drop for drop shadow, hold down shift and left click on this node and bring it right to here. And we've added some drop shadow to that arrow to give it just a little bit of depth and a little bit more of a feel to it. Now if I just go over to the edit tab, I can play this animation 
and we'll just hit spacebar from the beginning, and there's our arrow looping over and over again onto the screen to highlight the shoulder, right, and the position of the yoga instructor. All right, so that wraps it up for this video on how to make that looping arrow animation inside DaVinci Resolve Fusion. If you found this video helpful or you feel like you learned something today, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. I'm Jason for Vasa Productions. I'll see you next time.